Thanks for joining Get Your Play Online Try It Tuesday. Today's science experiment is making food dance. The first experiment is dancing corn kernels. Materials needed for dancing corn kernels. A mason jar or a tall glass, one cup of water, a quarter cup of popcorn kernels, three tablespoons of baking soda, and one cup of vinegar. Pour one cup of water into the mason jar or tall glass. Add three tablespoons of baking soda to the water. Then mix baking soda in the water until it has fully dissolved. Next, add one cup of corn kernels to the water and baking soda. The final step is adding one cup of vinegar to the jar with the corn kernels, baking soda, and water. Make sure you pour the vinegar slowly as you do not want your mixture to overflow. When all of the vinegar has been poured into your jar, sit back and watch what happens. Do you notice all of those bubbles? That's carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide occurs when you have a liquid such as the vinegar and a solid which is the baking soda that you put in they combine and they make the gas carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide bubbles lift up the corn kernels and as the bubbles pop the corn kernels fall back down to the ground the chemical reaction continues to happen and the corn kernels look like they are dancing in the jar the next experiment is dancing cranberries Materials needed are a tall glass, clear soda, such as seltzer water, and a quarter cup of dried cranberries. Step one, fill the glass three quarters full with clear soda or seltzer water. Step two, add a quarter cup of cranberries to the soda. Notice that the cranberries first sank to the bottom of the glass. This is because they are heavier than the water. The carbon dioxide gas bubbles attaches to the cranberries and help the cranberries float to the top of the soda. When the bubbles pop, the cranberries return to the bottom of the glass. This reaction continues and makes the cranberries look like they're dancing in your glass. I hope you had fun learning how to make cranberries and popcorn kernels dance.